In 2008, the Great Recession was happening around America. During that time, many people lost their jobs, their houses, and their savings. But that's around the same time that the Bakken oil boom was just getting rolling in North Dakota. As Kiara Brown tells us, that certainly did not mean life was easy in Williston and Watford City. During the late 2000s, the quiet, secluded town of 12,000 people were suddenly interrupted by oil rig drilling, tanker trucks driving across unpaved roads, and the company of nearly 20,000 new neighbors. The booming oil industry in the Bakken impacted almost every aspect of rural North Dakota life as people knew it. We went through a lot with the boom. Our, our town, our city of Williston expanded quite a bit in several directions um, very quickly. Um, we expanded in population, we expanded in housing, we expanded in businesses. The oil rich fields of North Dakota put our state on the map. All around the world, it became America's second leading oil producer at the time. But leaders say cliches like more money, more problems or fast money, fast cars and fast women became the town's new reality. Starting college, not being able to get an apartment because there was nothing available. With the oil industry, we do end up competing um, to get employees in the door. So at times that gets to be challenging. Uh, we've seen anywhere from 10 to 15% call volume increases for us. We had an 18% call volume increase last year. Williams County saw an 83% population increase, second only to its neighboring county, McKenzie, which had a 131% increase from 2010 to 2020, according to census data. Our department has tripled in size uh, as the size of the city has as well. The boom was very much fly by the seat of your pants, going call to call with officers to now I feel like we, we have a full staff ready and capable to handle um, anything that is sent our way. City leaders say they are a stronger community today because of it. They say due to the oil boom, law enforcement agencies, infrastructure, and government resources are bigger and better than ever. Many property owners made money off mineral rights to their land, and the city gained economic independence. And because of this independence, Williston leaders were able to fix the problems which typically stem from a steep population growth. We all grew together. I mean, the we went through what they went through. Um, we hurt when our community hurts. Um, we're happy when our community is happy. And the reality is, people didn't leave. Cook says it's no surprise to her, a Williston native, that people stuck around after the boom. She says the city is the perfect combination of small town feel, with big city opportunities. Kiara Brown, KX News. The Williams County area is the main reason North Dakota ranks third in the nation for oil production, with 90% of our state's oil coming out of the Bakken Formation. That's according to the Energy Information Administration.